Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about these Aqua Cloud sandals that I picked up from Zero Shoes. This is their new and improved sandal that they just released in early 2022. Now, generally, I do own a bunch of pairs of Zero Shoes, and I'm a huge fan. And when it comes to sandals, they're probably the ones that I do wear the least, mainly because of the activities that I participate in. Uh, sandals are good to go, but I find the other shoes a little bit more valuable for what I need. But when it comes to water sports, water activities, and especially the beach, that's where these sandals from Zero Shoes certainly shine. I'll give you an example. I was just in Brazil, and I was fortunate enough to do a bunch of uh, beach hopping in an area called Ubatuba. And I had my Zero Shoe sandals, and they are great. Because, of course, as you're running on these beaches, I'm not very familiar with it. Uh, there's fishermen all over the place, so you could be stepping on tackle and hooks. And, of course, there's also nature as far as uh, sharp rocks and slippery rocks as you're in the ocean. And once again, especially when I'm not familiar with that area. And while I was out there, I definitely wore my Zero Shoes sandals. And they were great. Uh, but the one issue that I kept having with them was the fact that they did have Velcro. It was attracting a lot of sand. Uh, and then when you're continually, continuously entering the water and leaving the water, uh, that sand becomes uh, quite aggravating, annoying, and even abrasive on the heel. So when I saw that they released these sandals and I had just come back from that adventure, I definitely wanted to get my hands on them. Another good feature of these Zero Shoes is that they do float, which makes it nice especially when you're utilizing them for water activities. There's not much to these sandals, which of course is the appeal to most of us. So what they did do is they added a grippier sole, which once again is ideal, especially when you're walking on jetties or any other type of slippery rocks uh, in that beach environment. And if you choose, of course, to run with these on the trail, adding that grippier sole is certainly a plus. There is also the barefoot foam, that extends all the way through the heel. Uh, so from toe to heel, which is nice, uh, making these definitely comfortable and the ability that when they do get wet, they do stay on. The bare foam that they use is three millimeters. And once again, these are super lightweight. You could pack them pretty much in anything. And uh, they weigh in, these are a US men's size 11 and they weigh in at just over, or just about five and a half ounces. As far as the tightening system, Super easy. All you got to do is slip your foot in there, tighten them up on the sides, and you're good to go. And now referencing the other sandals that I was using while I was just in Brazil, there is none of that Velcro uh, that's going to attract that sand and little pebbles, which could make for an uncomfortable situation. So the fact that these don't have the Velcro, definitely a thumbs up, especially after what I just went through. And of course, you have your nice wide toe box and the zero drop heel. So as you can tell here, just good construction, definitely built to last, certainly durable, and giving you what you expect from zero shoes, which is that minimalist feeling, durability, comfort, and in this case, less agitation, because of not having the Velcro trap that sand like it did for me on my uh, last trip to Brazil. So bottom line, if you're looking for a comfortable pair of minimalist sandals, definitely take a look at these aqua clouds. Whether you want to run with them on the trail, or uh, if you're like me and you plan on using these for water activities, definitely take a look at these aqua cloud sandals by Zero Shoes.